it is the first Wednesday of the Christmas season, and we are going to look today at Luke chapter 1 and just think about the implications of what is happening between Elizabeth and Mary. That gives us our devotional thought for today. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is it granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came into my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And so uh, all the way around what we understand then is from the beginning, the Holy Spirit is a speaker, the Holy Spirit of God, God the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, is the communicator. He's the one that talks, but what he always talks about is Jesus. He is the witness about Jesus. And so when when Elizabeth, I, I love the way this is written, when Elizabeth, it says, when the sound of your voice came into my ears... Uh, the baby, John the Baptist, by the way, uh, in my womb leaped for joy. The word of God, the Holy Spirit comes through the word of God, uh, always, always creates activity, always does things. In our own hearts and lives, that's true too. We're warned by James the Apostle that we shouldn't just be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. But that doing, when it's manufactured doing, can be a deadly thing. And we don't want to manufacture works that we take great pride in for ourselves. Instead, we want to listen attentively to the Holy Spirit. And to do that, we have to listen attentively to the word of God. Our Savior as the title of the devotional today indicates, is a noisy Savior. Uh, he is not silent. He isn't silent now either. Even though we await his coming again, when we will be in his immediate presence, we are not absent of his presence now. He's with us. He's with us by means of the Holy Spirit. He's with us by means of the Word. May our hearts leap for joy at the hearing of the voice of our Savior in the Holy Scriptures of the Bible. God bless you and keep you this Wednesday. Happy New Year.